Hey, what's going on YouTube world? This is your guy, Sills the Man, and I'm back at you with another video. This video being very important, very essential to your safety. For those who are new uh, subscribers to uh, this channel, I made this channel as more of like a time capsule for my two younger nieces. So when they come of age, they will know the game from their uncle. But in doing that, I've been helping so many other people who uh, you know look for this type of advice, this real advice, authentic advice, straight to it advice. And um, I never knew that I would make this impact on so many people. Like I, 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 I literally had no clue. Um, when I first started this channel, like I said, I did it for my nieces. So I didn't really care about the numbers. You know, I didn't care if I had a hundred subscribers because I knew my purpose for this channel. I knew the, the purpose for my videos and the content, you know? So when they come of age, you know, when they get to, you know, uh, dating and, and, and understanding friends and male friends and all that good stuff that they will know, you know? So, um, the fact that I have over 50,000 subscribers, you know, you know, God has put that on me and, and I'm totally accepting of it. And, um, I am totally grateful. Um, I'm especially grateful for meeting all of y'all and it just feels great doing this, you know? So, uh, not to, to bore y'all with a lecture. Um, in this video, I want to make sure that y'all be safe out there. There's a lot of creepy stuff, a lot of creepy men, a lot of predatory men, a lot of enemies out there. And in this video, I'm going to break down a, a good amount of things you need to look out for, a good amount of red flags, a good amount of uh, signs that you need to be wary of when it comes to signs that he is a predator slash an enemy. So please pay attention to this video. Watch every minute of it. I just want y'all to be safe out here, well educated, and just be you know put on game. Uh, but before I start, as I always say, if you like my content, if you like understanding the mind of men, if you like understanding the mind of good men, please subscribe. The button is below this video box. Uh, I want y'all to comment. I want y'all to talk about this. Um, I'm open to hearing what y'all have to say, and um, hey, I'm just here to make an impact. So let's get to it. The first sign that you need to look out for, be wary of, that he is a predator is when he's always trying to go to your house before y'all even meet, but on the first encounter. Like he's making it a, a dedicated effort to always go to your house. Now, this is a sign to really pay attention to because I know from just being a man myself, not that it happens a lot, but women are also predators too. There's some female predators out there as well. So just you know, trying to protect myself, keep myself safe. I am not going to be the person that's going to try to go to her house before I even meet her and vice versa. If she's going to try to come to my house and like, we don't even know each other. Like, I don't know you. You don't even know me. So if you're willing and strongly willing to always come to my personal abode, that's going to be a red flag. So it is especially that fact when you are a woman, you got to understand that got to send off a red flag in your head. He doesn't even know you from a can of paint. So the fact that he's always pushing, trying to go to your house, that is a red flag. And this is not the same thing as somebody offering uh, to come to your house. Like that's, that's a totally different. But when someone is making a dedicated effort, almost, almost aggravatingly, almost like annoyingly trying to come to your house before they y'all even met, Pay attention to that. That's a red flag because he may be trying to figure out where you live. Once you give the, uh, uh, somebody the permission to come to your abode, your house, your sacred place, that is a big thing because you don't have to let them in. But the fact that they know the location of where you live, where you lay your head every single day, that is a big sign of trust that you're giving to this person. I think people don't talk about that enough. When you let somebody know where you live... It don't matter who it is. That is a big sign of trust. Like, hey, I live here. I'm trusting you to not be crazy, psychotic, or dangerous to me. So I know I do. So I want y'all to place a great priority on your place of living. Do not give out that location to any old body. And in my second point, it's kind of related to this. A big sign that he is an enemy and that he is a predator is when he's always trying to meet you or take you to a private place before y'all meet. He's always trying to take you to a, a, a non-public place, 
a place that doesn't have a lot of eyes or a lot of people. Be careful with that. Once again, you do not know this man from a can of paint. The best way a predator can be a predator is if no one else is a witness to his predatory ways. A predator is not going to risk doing things to you or, 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 or capturing you in the public eye. That's too risky for him. So if this person is always making a dedicated attempt to bring you to a private place without eyes, you know, without public vision of y'all to pay attention to that. That's a red flag. What you should always do before you meet someone is meet them in a public, well-lit, well-populated place. So restaurants, uh, malls, um, Starbucks, something that's well-populated. You should never meet somebody in a park at night or, or, or an alleyway or, or, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Always protect yourself first and foremost. Be smart. Be vigilant. And this is especially relevant in today's times because, you know, online dating is a huge thing. Now you have access to people across the world, across the country, across your state. You don't have to meet them in person now you, and, you're, and you're having conversations with them. You're getting to know them. So you must protect yourself even more now. And also, not even just a, a private place. Well, this is a private place What that I'm about to say. But someone who is always trying to get you to come to their house on the first meetup. Do not do that. That, that just sounds crazy. And once again, like I said, it is a difference between offering your house on the first meetup and constantly and, 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 and almost like like forcefully saying like, yo, if you ain't coming to my house, then we can't meet up. If that's the case, then don't do it. Because why are you so worried and, and, and concerned and, 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 and just and, and uh, dedicated for me to come to your house? Why is that? Pay attention, please. Y'all need to pay attention. And understanding the, the, the excitement of meeting someone new and and if you're doing online dating, you know, you may gain a, a, a appreciation and a liking for this person. It's, a, it's an exciting time, but do not let your excitement override your common sense. The third sign that he's a predator is that he's controlling. First of all, if we just met and you're trying to control me already, not saying that controlling is good in, at any time, but if you don't even know me and you already, you're already acting like you own me, red flag. What is wrong with you? You're you're nuts. You should never let a man feel like he owns you, especially if you just met this dude. And you know what? This is somewhat a good thing when someone shows their controlling face or show their controlling ways immediately, because now you can immediately cut them off because there have been uh, a lot of situations where situations going on right now where people put on their best face. And you don't find out that they're they're controlling and that they're a predator or enemy until later on in a relationship or, or, or the dating or whatever y'all doing. There's a lot of good actors out there who lead you on, who are reeling you on until they feel like they got you. And then they show you their true ways. But by that time, it's too late. Don't be that person. So when someone shows their true colors, as they say, believe it. Do not give someone a, a, a second chances when they show their true colors. That's who they are. You should be grateful that they're, they're even showing their true colors this early because now you have time to escape. You got time to abort this. So coming back to it, if, they, they, if they're showing controlling ways and then a lot of times controlling shows a lot of anger in a man, a lot of physical touching, a lot of grabbing, like cut that off immediately. That's a big sign that he's a predator. And leading on to my next point, a next red flag that this guy is an enemy, that he's a predator is that he's always lying about his identity. He's never truthful about who he is. If you come across a guy, he's always uh, giving you different answers about you know, his name or he's uh, calling himself an alias when he first meets you. He gives you his Instagram and he has like zero posts and five followers and pay attention to this. It's not guaranteed that he's a creep. But that's a big red flag that something's going on. No one should be lying about their name. That is one thing we've always had. Before we were even born, we were given a name. Why are you lying about something that we've always had? What are you trying to hide? Because when people lie, they're lying for a reason. The most popular reason is they're trying to hide something. And also part of his identity is his family. 
his associates. If someone is always trying to hide who they are related to or who they are always with, that is a big red flag. Because you should be proud of who you're with. You should be proud uh, of, of talking about your uh, the people you spend the most time with. So why are you lying about this? Will I find more information if you tell me these people? Once again, you're hiding something. Another part of lying about your identity. Lying about your age. If you tell me you're a certain age and I find out it's a totally different age, red flag. Why are you lying about your age? Is it because of my age or is it, be, um, is it because of her age? And you feel like, you know, you, your age is way too uh, far ahead of her age. Like, what are you hiding? So lying, period. Not even just lying about your identity. Lying, period. Especially when I first met you is a big red flag. First, if we first met, if, we, if we're just meeting for the first time, why are you lying? You, you have no reason to lie to me. Like you have nothing to hide from me. I don't know you. So why are you lying? Red flag. And the last point I want to make that you need to pay attention to, that is a big red flag, a big sign that this guy is a predator and therefore an enemy is when his personality changes when people are around from the personality he gives you when it's just you too. Example, you're in a restaurant, uh, you're on a date with this guy and uh, he's giving off weird vibes. He's giving off low key uh, creepy vibes or he's giving off controlling vibes. He's giving off anger, angry vibes. But as soon as the waiter comes or the waitress comes, he changes up and he's now this glowing, nice, friendly person <laughs> to this waiter or waitress. And then when they go away, he's back to his old ways. He's back to this real dark creep. You know what I'm saying? People should always be themselves, no matter what. That should always be constant, right? There is no reason for you to change up when people are around. Now, why is that? Why do people change up when people are around? It's because they don't want the public to know who they are. They don't want to show the public uh, who they are. They don't want to show any possible witnesses of who they are, especially who they are to you. So if they are controlling, if they are a predator, they don't want to, to show or give red flags to that person to warn the police or warn authorities or warn help that, hey, I went to this table. This guy, uh, he's giving off really uh, bad vibes with this woman. I think we should call the police. He doesn't want to give that vibe to the waitress or the waiter. So he's going to act differently. He's going to act upstandingly. He's going to act uh, friendly. He's going to give good vibes, right? No predator is going to want to show his ways to the public. And it kind of piggybacks off the other point of, you know, no predator wants... Um, to be with a woman in the public because he doesn't want witnesses. He doesn't want help for you. He's trying to hide you, right? So be careful when you're with a guy and he's always switching up on how he acts with you versus how he acts with the public and, and with your family and with your friends. You feel me? Good people are good people all around, constant. It's, it's, there should be no change-ups. So my queens out there, my ladies out there, my, my young women out there, I just want you, Seals the Man, to be safe. Pay attention. Don't be so naive that you overlook your common sense. Like I said earlier, I know it's exciting when you meet a guy. He's great, and he seems like to be the, the guy of your dreams, and he's saying all the right things. There is nothing wrong with that. But I want you to look out for the red flags. I want you to pay attention always. Because everything that shines is not gold. And everyone who seems good is not good. So always pay attention. And I'm not telling you to put a wall up immediately. You can always be yourself. But just make sure you protect yourself at all times. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to scare you. But this is a scary world. And I always got to be real with y'all. This world, especially our women, do not have time for the fluff. Y'all need to know the realness. So that's what I'm here to do. So thank you for coming to this video. I'm sorry if I <laughs> made y'all a little nervous or scary, but I just got to be real with y'all. Y'all got to protect yourselves. I would rather y'all be scared and aware than naive and not aware, right? So thank you for uh, watching my videos and all your support. And I look forward to uh, seeing y'all in my next video. Thank you always. Peace and blessings. Good night.